Hey guys, so as the rock counting season comes to a close slowly, I thought I'd make a little video about the etch, etching calcite off uh, certain mineral specimens. Like quite often you see in a Canadian shield, there's calcite that'll cover a mineral specimen. There's the calcite. And underneath, if you look, you can see there's crystals. This is a mix of apatite and uh, possibly algite, or some sort of proxy. So what you do is you put the entire specimen in some sort of bucket like so, filled with water, <clears throat> then you add more as you need. Then when you put the specimen inside, you're gonna pour acid. Now the acid I prefer to use is this one, muriatic acid. It's not too strong of an acid, but you still gotta take precautions, wear some gloves, of course, and pour the acid into the water, not the other way around. You pour the acid in the water, so there's no splashing of that reaction. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put this thing in. It's a big specimen. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Now, as you can see, most of the specimen's covered. The water comes up to here, so obviously you don't, I don't want to fill it too much because then it's going to splatter. So all I'm going to do now is... Should I open this up? Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to pour the acid carefully into the solution. Uh, so, give it a wide berth. Should stir. Should see it fizzing. Yep, there you go. See the fizzing. Now it's gonna start to do this as it becomes stronger and mix as well. If the water's warmer, it'll work a lot better too. In this case, just for demonstration, using cold water. So that's what we're gonna do, and uh, I'll get back to you guys when the solution is complete to show the end result. Okay. Hey guys, you can see and hear it sizzling right here. So it's reacting quite well. Now you know when uh, the solution is fully saturated, when, when the sizzling almost stops to nothing or totally stops. So at that point you can add acid if you have the space or you just pour the solution out and then you pour the water and the acid just to continue going. So my plan of this piece is when I'm gonna do a lot of the acid etching from this part, because only a little bit is showing. So I'm gonna keep adding to this solution to make it better, better, and then when it starts to stop sizzling, I'll flip the piece, I'll flip the piece over, because that goes to the bottom, and that should be it. And uh, I should show you the end result, guys. Hey guys, so it's been a couple days since I put the solution in. Sorry for the noise, I'm in the backyard. It is getting cold. You can see the leaves are falling. Yep. So anyway, here's the solution. It's been a couple of fills of acid. So I'm gonna take it out now, with one hand try to at least it's a heavy piece all right let's see if we can do this it's gonna get the right kind of grip it's hard to do one handed all right here comes the lift oh yeah there we go hey guys see it see there's the last bit of calcite here in the middle the kind of cherry like stuff sorry let me focus that's appetite. Was the yes, acid removed it? So you can see it's a plate of crystals of some sort of amphibole by the looks of it. Let me see if I can lift it and put it right here. There. All right. There we go. So, whew. all right. See, you have to wear gloves for the acid. It's not too bad, but you know, why take precautions? So if I left this in for a bit longer, that would have away, leaving the whole plate here. So usually what I do in this scenario is I will give it a, a wash. So I'll get a, let me just get a scrubby and I'll get back to you guys in one second. Okay guys, so I'm back. I got the scrubby here. But before we get to that, something important. Baking soda. Why? Because it's going to neutralize whatever acid's left. So just spray it. Like so. Hear that? reacting the acid yeah I'm just spraying it like that then I'm gonna get that hose over here I don't know if I can do it one handed actually you know what just give me one second and I'm gonna take off the glove all right take it off like that so you don't touch it there we go you guys hear that it hits his link so take a little bit of the hose just gently I'm gonna gently spray it down. 
put the baking soda work and the solution on the bottom will pull up and neutralize whatever I have around there too. Wash it all. Okay, so good deal the acid is neutralized. Here's what I'm gonna do. Spray some more. They might wonder ask why. I'll just tell you why, because it's, it's kind of an abrasive. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna soak it up, add some more water. I'm gonna clean this up. Just a bit. There we go. Give it a good scrub. Just to get off as much dirt as you can. And let the abrasive nature remove any kind of stuff that's on top of the crystals that you can't see. Because uh, a lot of times when you're in the calcite, they cover the secondary stuff, like maybe towels, bubble pits, anything. Just to make the crystal look rough. Oh, look, look at that. See that? Yeah, it's hard to see. But that is a little tank night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's intact. A little guy, but it's nice. See the dirt coming off? So clearly there's something that's coming off. Okay, so we're done. And now let's give another spray for the distance. And here's how it looks. I'll give you another picture, guys, once this thing dries, because it's hard to kind of tell. But it looks a little better. It's not as pretty as I hoped it would be, but uh, it is a backyard piece, certainly. You can see crystals. If they were bigger, I would have had this displayed inside, but because of that, I probably won't. But this tight net is nice, though. So, before I finish off, let me just explain the next part. <clears throat> so, here's a bucket of the acid. Now it's pretty used up because you can see the calcite didn't etch all the way out. So to dispose of that thing safely, you gotta neutralize it. And once again, the baking soda. Now watch this, it gets violent, get stuff away. Hear that? There you go, see? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's neutralizing. So you just keep adding to it till it becomes fully neutralized. And then dispose of it safely. Because at that point you can almost flush it on the toilet. Preferably you dispose of it properly in a container to your local uh, recycling facilities, maybe, just so they know how to deal with it. Depending on the local bylaws, right? So anyway, guys, I'll just give you a final video of that once it's done drying. Here we go, guys. After nice drying, 